Hey guys, it's me, Drew, <clears throat> and I am here to do a Vintage Chic Scents haul. This is my last haul from Vintage Chic Scents for the year. Um, as you guys probably know, I've ordered from Vintage Chic every single month since the month of July. She has had so many cool things, and I was like, December, it's not for me. Everything is going to be for gifts. Uh, I'm not going to order from her until she announced that it was a Cookie Monster restock. And, sadly, I love Cookie Monster. Don't have a lot of Cookie Monster, but I know I love Cookie Monster. So, that ban went away. 2018, I'm not going to order nearly as much as I've been. Um, taking it a little bit slower, but this order was under $100, so I didn't feel too bad. But anyway, that was her business card. And the owner's name is Kirby Welsh, as always. That's her Facebook and her website and stuff like that. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. So the sample that I got, she always includes a sample, is in the Munsters. And the Munsters is um, pumpkin caramel eggnog. <sighs> to me, I don't like eggnog the way it tastes or anything, but as far as smell goes, this just smells like a very creamy pumpkin smell, which is nice. So that way, and this was poured... November 22nd, so it'll be ready like next November, maybe October, but it'll be good for Halloween. And this is a two ounce scent shot, so I'll cut it in half, but I mean, it smells really, really good. It's really strong pumpkin. I mean, I like it. I just smell like the pumpkin. I don't get eggnog. It just is extremely creamy. So that's the Monsters. <clears throat> then for December, she included another sample, which is a little vintage rose shape which she used to do three packs in. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to try to get up close with it. So that's what it looks like. It's just a little vintage rose, and it's blue. And the scent is Central Park Snow Globe, which I love. Super minty, but it has a little bit of creaminess to it, a little bit of a vanilla. A little bit like Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works, but it like has a vintage cheek scent spin on it. I really like it. This is a great bedtime melt. So, put this in my sample drawer. This will be ready next year for Christmas. Um, although, I melt Central Park Snow Globe all year round. I have a loaf of it, as you know from the last video, um, that I want, that I'm going to, when I chop up, and that's a good bedtime melt. I really like that. So, anyway, I have the box of goodies. So, we'll get the two big things out of the way. I have never smelled this scent. Let's just get this out of the way. Never smelled this scent, but Notorious Liz loves it. Says it's one of her favorites, and I love part of the scent, and I like the other part, but I haven't smelled it, That her interpretation of it. And this is Order of the Warrens. So Order of the Warrens is the Warrens, which is gooey marshmallow, glazed cinnamon donuts, and cider lane. Smelled that, love that, obsessed with that. It's so creamy and rich with cinnamon donut, but... Order of the Warrens is mixed with warm campfire and gooey marshmallow. So like a marshmallow fireside. So I got two loaves in that. These are the unicorn loaves. These are, I believe, $17.75 each. Um, and these are going to be put away for next year. Uh, and like I said, I like to let my vintage cheek scents go for about a year. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but it is totally worth it with her wax. If you let it cure for a year, it gets super strong and lasts like all day. Like... I have a piece of a well melt from last year that's been going for two days, and it smells super strong. So, I love this. I'm not getting a whole lot of the marshmallow campfire, so maybe as it cures I'll get that, but to me it just smells like the creamiest cinnamon donuts with that caramel apple of the cider lane. So, that is awesome, and I love that she puts glitter on the unicorn loaves. Very simple, just glitter, which is just sometimes what you need. And I love loaves. I love getting them. I have them all stacked up in my closet over there in the back, which is where I keep the loaves. So, they cure just like this, sitting, curing, getting all nice. So, my favorite form of wax from VCS is her four packs. I love her four packs. I actually, let me see if I can pull this drawer out by my desk. I have a lot of four packs. They fit these drawers that I got. I got this uh, desk from Macy's, but they fit four packs super easily in them. And it's just perfect. So that's where I keep all my four packs by date. So I know um, what's 
still needs to cure what's you know needs a little bit longer or whatever so four packs are the way to go if i'm looking at a restock that's what I, i'm gonna buy most of the time are the four packs so because this was a cookie monster restock the first one i got was cookie monster and i make these labels myself the um they go on the back so uh cookie monster is sugar cookies sugar cookie dough buttercream frosting and sugar milk and this is just like an ultimate cookie scent but it's not a chocolate chip cookie which i really like because i don't love super strong chocolate chip cookie this is not and these are the four pack of the row or of the uh four pack of the medallions you get two of two different colors for five dollars and thirty cents and typically, I just melt a whole coin. That's what I mean. The four packs are easy. You just throw in a coin, and you can call it a day. So Cookie Monster is just like a really creamy cookie scent. Love it. So before we get into all the Cookie Monster blends, <coughs> one that is not a Cookie Monster blend that I needed to pick up was Jenny and the Pink Ladies for one reason. It's Petty Fours, Whipped Cream, and Pink Sands, which is a dupe from Yankee Candle. And I love that smell. As soon as you smell it, you're like, oh my god, it smells just like Pink Sands. Because it does. But as you start to smell it, you get the cake from the Petty Force, and you get the whipped cream. But it's not like, if you love Pink Sands, it's like a Pink Sands do. You just smell that extra. It really just adds this extra sweetness and extra goodness to Pink Sands. So, love that. I only got one four-pack in that, but I'm sure she'll pour that again. And if she pours a scent that I really want, like last month was um, San Jacinto's Orange Julius, I just bought five four-packs, so I have like a nice nice amount of it. The next one is Cookie Monster Goes to Monaco, which is her Princess of Monaco, which is lemon curd and marshmallow, blended with the sugar cookie. Now, in my opinion, I'll say with most of these blends, I smell the blended scent first, for the most part. So to me... Not saying anything it smells like just like Princess of Monaco. I don't smell a lot of Cookie Monster. It just smells like bakery lemon, like lemon pound cake. Like the lemon pound cake that you get at Starbucks. That's what it smells like to me. So, I don't smell a whole lot of anything else but like that lemon pound cake. Next we have Abominable Cookie Monster, which this is amazing. This is Peppermint Marshmallow Mocha Sugar Cookie blended with Cookie Monster. This smells so good. This is another bedtime scent because it has that peppermint. Like as soon as you get it, you smell that whiff of peppermint. But the mocha, that rich chocolate cream really comes out in this. No Cookie Monster. Like I said, I don't smell Cookie Monster. The only thing of the Cookie Monster I can smell is the sugar milk. I smell the sugar milk in here in the background. But that's about it. I don't get a whole lot of Cookie Monster. But I do know with Vintage Chic Sense blends, the longer they sit, the stronger they get, and the more complex they get. So you start getting all those notes later on. Then we have Cookie Monster Man. I am kicking myself for not getting the Marshmallow Man, which is what this is a blend with, last year, last month in the Lowe's, which is Gooey Marshmallow, blended with a Cookie Monster. I will say... I, um, my aunt ordered me a mystery box last month, and it's going to be here for Christmas. Well, it is here, but she's going to give it to me at Christmas, so I hope there's something Marshmallow Man in it, because Marshmallow Man was in the sampler last month, so we, let's hope. This is really hard to detect. I can smell this creaminess, which I am assuming is the marshmallow, and I don't smell a whole lot of that Cookie Monster. Like I said, the Cookie Monster is really hard to detect in these blends. Yeah, to me, this just smells like a very creamy bakery scent. If I gave this to you, not telling you what it was, you probably wouldn't guess. It's just very, very creamy. Like, if Bath & Body Works had a scent called Marshmallow Cookie, yeah, this is what that would smell like, if you know what I mean. Then we have Cookie Monster Cafe, which I've had this blend before in a Chantilly Shatter, which is the Cookie Monster blended with Fresh Picked Strawberry, which I just love. And this one, you can smell the bakery, the Cookie Monster, with the strawberry. I think so. I can definitely detect equal on both. As soon as you smell it, of course you're going to get that strawberry, because strawberry is so strong and so just boom in your face. But the bakeriness of the Cookie Monster comes out. And I will say, 
I think the reason why Cookie Monster is so amazing is because it's not chocolate chip. It's not a chocolate chip cookie. Because if it was a chocolate chip cookie, you wouldn't be able to blend it with as many things as you can. <coughs> and then we have Cookie Monster Loves Jackie O. I've had this before, I believe, in like a sample. And I just love this. This is Marshmallow Birthday Cake Vanilla Bean Noel. That's Jackie O. Which sounds as very similar to Cookie Monster. Just like baker creamy bakery blending sense. But for some reason, I am so attracted to, to Jackie O. Like... Jackie O, every time I smell it in anything, I have a sample of just Jackie O, and it is amazing. I love this. Jackie O is just awesome. Again, Marshmallow, Birthday Cake, Vanilla Bean Noel, those are three very blendy type of smell. To make that as one whole scent and be so popular and be so good is interesting to me. But Kirby does it. And can we just talk about how beautiful these medallions are like they are so so pretty and when they melt they just look gorgeous i'm having a good camera day too the focus has been good i'm just learning to take it slow two more four packs and then that's it and then i get to put this stuff away get a haircut and then head to work busy day today next is cookie monster's pajamas so this is fresh picked strawberries marshmallow sugar cookie vanilla bean noel and then the Cookie Monster. I love the colors of these two. Like a ruby red and a dark blue. This is cool too. This is like... I get the fresh picked strawberry. And to me it almost smells like Jackie O. Even though it's birthday cake instead of sugar cookies. But I don't know. To me, this just smells like a toned down version of Cookie Monster Cafe. Like, Cookie Monster Cafe is bright, juicy strawberry. You can smell it as soon as you smell it. This is very toned down, very mellow, very sophisticated strawberry. Because it has the other notes in it to cream it down, to blend it down. These four packs are my favorite. I love them so much. And then last but not least... Oh, no, there's two. I was like, wait a minute, I did not do one of them. This one is Cookie Monster Will Never Go Hungry Again. This is Terra Will Never Go Hungry Again, blended with Cookie Monster. So Terra Will Never Go Hungry Again is Wildberry Mousse, Zucchini Bread, and Marshmallow. I don't get a whole lot of Wildberry Mousse. I get Zucchini Bread, and I get the Marshmallow, so it's a very creamy, creamy Zucchini Bread. But I don't get the Wildberry Mousse, which is odd. Yeah, I don't. I don't get the Wildberry Mousse. So, to me, it just smells like a zucchini bread blended with Cookie Monster. Which is actually kind of funny because... Let's seal this up. This one is Cookie Monster's Post, which is zucchini bread, vanilla bean, Noel sugar cookie, and then sugar cookie dough, blah, blah, blah. But, this doesn't have Wildberry Mousse in it. So you would think it would smell just the same. It doesn't. This is like so strong. Like so strong. I love this. Love this, love this, love this. I like this mm, not as much as I like the Terror Will Never Go Hungry Again. But, so I think that Wildberry Moose like is in there. I just can't detect it. But it just blends it more evenly. This is more of a bakery zucchini rim. And that's more of like a fruity zucchini rim, which obviously you have berry in there. But anyway, those were my 10 four packs. I got some 40 individual melts there. I got two loaves, got some samples, got a great order, a good end to the year. I love all my Cookie Monster blends. That was an awesome restock, Kirby. Thank you so much. And super, super, super excited to be able to melt this stuff, be able to have some Cookie Monster, and start 2018 melting my butt off, because I have so much. I have a Southbound order to review, some Super Tarts, Rose Girls. I have a Bento pre-order that's coming that is three 
boxes. I have so much wax coming to me that I like forgot about because I ordered so long ago. But I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And to Kirby and everybody at VCS, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Talk to you guys later. Bye!